Good morning, Dorking NCT Facebook page and live on Instagram on the Sling Consultancy. Hi, I'm Zoe and today's Feature Friday is featuring our lovely Kaylin Blue stretchy wraps. So these are just on its way to the library. This is my demo version. Good morning, Paul. And um, these are really lovely, super, super thin, super silky, really lightweight stretchy wrap. Um, so they're a two-way stretch, so they go both ways, so not quite as much width uh, lengthways there. Um, they also have unfinished hems, okay, so there's no, um, there's no stitching or anything along the hems. So I'm just going to really quickly do a front wrap cross carry, a uh, pocket wrap cross carry, with the stretchy wrap. And if you want to watch, there's another video showing how to... Uh, when me talking through doing this, but what I wanted to talk to you today was just about optimising your stretchy carry. If you're finding that it is not comfortable currently for you and your baby, or you find that baby wonk is wonky, or you want to learn how to feed in the stretchy wrap, then um, this one is for you. So tied it. I'm gonna make space. I'm gonna pop my baby in. Okay. So at this point. This is my top layer, baby's gonna go on here and I'm gonna use my back of my hand to pull this one over, okay? So we're just gonna go into there and sit them down into that knee, quicker than knee pit. And then we're gonna come over, do the same on this side. Into the knee pit, hands up. And at this point, just do the pelvic tuck. So tuck them towards you, support them, little jiggle like that, hands up, and go back to this front side, the first side we did, and spread it all the way, knee to knee. Now these dolls don't really have great knees, but with a real baby, they have a really good squatting position, and that's what we're trying to do, okay? So there we go, spread that all the way. And then we're gonna go to our ribs, and this will be our pocket from before, and we roll that up, okay? So, what that shows us, baby's level and supported, knee to knee. Now if at this point you're finding baby's legs are quite straight, again, just go in and just tilt them and spread that wrap a little bit further. So they're in that lovely tucked position, lovely J shape, and then at the bottom we have the M. So the bum is lower than the knees. Okay, so we're looking for that M shape there. Um, some key things with the stretchy wrap, shoulder flips. So if you can't see baby's face, you can grab the inside edge and just pull it out. What you'll find with that is it can restrict your shoulder movement. So you can do the other type, which is if you go underneath, grab it with your thumb and then twist. And that creates like a little cap sleeve effect. So you can see it's twisted it here. You'll find that that stays much more nicely. You can then spread this on your shoulders, tuck baby's head if they like that, some don't. But yeah, just spread that across your back as well. Rather than having it bunched, you'll find that that will help your comfort levels as well. So there we go, spreading it really lovely, just using your thumbs. Ensuring that you've got your three layers up to the nape of baby's neck. That's it. If you're finding at any point that your baby's gone wonky, it probably means that one of your crosses was a little bit looser than the other. And we can adjust that once baby's in our stretchy wrap. So we can take our layer down bring our passes back to the legs so they're bunched okay and just bunch it all up then we're just going to pull that third layer back over baby okay so if I felt if I pulled some slack to here you see this is a bit loose now so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go up to my neck grabbing this one I'm just going to shimmy and pull now I've got my slack here I'm going to go to the opposite leg under the leg I'm just going to pull and then I'm going to bring it all the way to my knot and I'm going to retie my knot once I've spread my passes. So most of the time one side is sufficient to have made that more comfortable and for baby not to be wonky. If you're finding that the slack is this side, do the same on that side. So again, spread your passes, one and two, all the way, knee to knee, knee to neck. Bring your pocket back up and then I could redo my knot. Okay, you can do the same if you do it too tight and baby's too high and you want to get baby down. You just do the opposite, loosen your knot, bring it round, round to here, tighten it. Sorry, my phone. Pull it to here, pull it to here, pull it and spread it and just lower baby down a little bit. For feeding in the sling, take the leg out of the side you're going to feed off. So both legs come out of your pocket. The side that you're going to feed on, your leg is going to come out. You're going to move it out of the way, pop baby across and then use this one and grab the slack from behind 
supporting baby, both hands here, and then you're just going to spread this all the way over baby, under here, all the way to their knees, spreading it over your shoulder, and then you can spread that over your shoulder. As long as, again, you're supporting baby with your hand, the head still needs some support in this sort of position. So that's a really good way to support feeding. You can have their legs a little bit lower, just adjusting the position where it's comfortable for you. You can use your hand this way, this way, as long as you're ensuring that you can support that baby's head. When they're finished feeding, we're just gonna pop this back under their bum. Using gravity, help us put their hands back upright. I know that I fed off this side, so I'm gonna take this leg out of this one and then pop it back into this one and then at this point adjust them again tilt the pelvis tucking towards you hands up spread the first side spread the second side and ensuring again that that's knee to knee so all the way to their knee pits and then grab your pocket which will be this one by your ribs under your legs and up Okay. For an older baby, hands out. Let them have the, 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 their arms out. Sometimes they'll want one arm out, like that, and that is enough to enable them to see a little bit more. You can also just adjust the position so that they're slightly off centre on your body. Yeah. So that way, baby's slightly off centre on that side. You can also feed up right uh, in a position this way as well so you could just move baby adjust often when you're feeding in a sling it's about what you're wearing in terms of the clothing that you can have easy access so this jumper that I'm wearing wouldn't work you'd need something that's a little bit more stretchy um, you can do different carries as well with your stretchy wrap um, things that might be less layers depending on where you're going but don't forget just to ensure that their legs are and maybe covered in this kind of uh, weather so either you know use an umbrella um, there's lots of things you can do around keeping your babies nice and, and, and cool and lots of natural fibers and close to you is really good because it helps them regulate their body temperature actually so the sling does count as obviously extra layers of clothing so they probably wouldn't need very much on but this is a lovely way for older babies so that they can see a little bit more they can have their hands out and then they're re when they're ready to go to sleep you can just pop their hands back up just move them back over tuck them back in both those layers nice and secure again always going through your checks can I see baby's face yes I know they're breathing can I be hands-free means that baby's not gonna slump and when I lean forward their head will move but their body doesn't come away from my body that's nice and secure we have a nice supported back close enough to kiss and that is optimizing our stretchy wrap for an older baby if you have any questions we can absolutely answer those pop them into the um either dm me on, on instagram or uh pop me a message over on dorking entity facebook page um but yeah the kaylins are a lovely really lightweight stretchy wrap very very thin um very difficult to show on there but um we're having three of these come to the sling library um and adding them to our free uh, newborn hire scheme as well. So if you have a baby under six weeks old, you can come and hire these absolutely for free. Um, this morning I will be at Bookham Children's Centre and then next Tuesday we have our last Sling Library session for the summer. That is on um, Tuesday, one till 2.30 at St Paul's Church in Dorking. And we have then got a 15 pounds hire for the whole of the summer holidays. So um, yeah, have a great weekend.